like reading up like oh how do you do unit test in C++ right so <clears throat> when I would get home because I was like lost and they would ask they would also ask me like oh make sure you check in your changes to uh, back then uh, they used uh, SVN right it's not as popular anymore or they use like some Microsoft tools and they were they were asking me like check in your changes and I was like checking changes and luckily I'm mean, going to befriend some of the programmers and I'm like well, check in, what does that mean he's like yeah you have to check in your code it keeps a history and I was like what you know they didn't teach me that in school right so so a lot of the stuff I teach is from my own uh, growing pains as a developer right when I when I was a, a rookie like I, a lot of, a lot of stuff that that I was like what I mean they touched me the basics right which was great but I was there's still a lot of tools that I was not even and a lot of methods that I was not even familiar with so that's why I opt to teach my courses like this I know not everyone in here wants to be a programmer that's why the assignments are easy right all the assignments in this class are going to be easy and even in my programming two class like they you all have to make a tic-tac-toe program but I don't like have students write complicated stuff. I, I opt instead to teach fundamentals and development tools. That way, whoever wants to be a programmer, or if you're thinking I want to be a programmer, you can decide right now. Like, oh, this is that uh, stuff's too much, you know. Especially when you take my program on my programming two course, you'll know by then. Like toward the end of the semester, you'll know if you want to be a developer or not, right? And it's okay if you if you don't. Like, there's a lot of other. Uh, jobs available in computer science like computer science doesn't mean you're going to be a programmer right so no uh, and that's another thing right so uh <clears throat> you get so comfortable with python and you're like oh i got this and then you fall flat on your face because they changed the programming language to c plus plus which in the 80s along with C was a very difficult programming language to learn 40 years later is still a difficult programming language to learn you know so I'm not sure why ACC does that I'm pretty sure I have a good reason uh, I'm not part of those meetings but uh, don't get too comfortable with Python instead opt to learn concepts how do functions work how do if statements work how do uh, while uh, statement uh, loops work how does memory and code work so if you have the concepts without like getting too like <clears throat> into the language then when you go to uh, programming two and three you won't be like suffering right because programming two and three are c plus plus so yeah sorry okay so let's do one more uh math module right again so i had I had brought up the math, math module and I think this one I mean it's the same thing like someone some expert programmer wrote a lot of code for us yeah homework for uh, yeah what's homework for the factorial I don't remember factorial yeah and not too hard like you find the solution online remember you can work with your oh yeah yeah oh that one is that one is uh, that one is tricky. Um, yeah, if uh, you all are not making progress, like I can, I can help. I can help with that. Okay, so let me. Uh, we go to five nine, right? Math module, and again, it's just uh, using. Uh, We'll use, uh, is there power? No, I think. Uh, I'm like so detached from trig. I'm not going to use cosine, sine, tangent. Uh, uh, well, we can use exponent, right? Uh, no, not exponent. Yeah, we'll use ceiling and floor, right? And th that's built in functionality for us. And maybe square root, right? It's kind of like we, it turns the square root of some number. So uh, let's uh, let's do that. So we go into value return functions, and now we import math, right? Just to show that uh, Python has built-in math functionality for us. So we say uh, so we'll say get uh, we'll we'll do square root get square root of some number. Uh, 
So uh, again, we can simply say return math dot square root of a number. And we can create a test case for this too, right? So uh, let's go here. You're making something. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, to encourage you all, like most of the other classes from different semesters have completed this assignment. You know, so usually like someone figures it out and since you all can collaborate, then hopefully they can tell you, oh, this is how I figured it out. I have faith in you all. Okay, so let's go here, test functions. And then we go here, so def test uh, get uh, square root self. Okay, uh, so then let's create an assertion. And uh, let me see, uh, three. And if we say uh, get square root of nine, that's the case, right? Uh, my son asked me for algebra homework. He's in eighth grade, and I usually have to go to Khan Academy because that stuff's like I never used algebra. I never used the, all the calculus stuff I had to take in computer science. So okay, and I've uh, square root. I guess this is right. Right, square root of nine is three. It's just <laughs> I don't even use that stuff either. Test case is my friend. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, clear. Uh, run yeah we're good okay so let's let's do some more right and we'll do easy ones right so uh 16 a 4 and 25 5 that should be good enough right we'll go to the run test uh, run it and we're good right so notice here like test get square root so we can uh, see that the built-in uh, python square root um, it works right so again uh, that's how we can use uh, built-in uh, Python functionality using those modules and we have to import them that means like let's help our uh, code file know where to go find that functionality and then we can use it let me see here what else do they have <clears throat> yeah well they use the square root so <laughs> it's funny What else do they use? Uh, not interested in uh, trig. Okay. So, uh, any questions so far? Okay, let me uh, check this in. Okay, and now uh, in 510, that's where they're talking about like storing functions in, in modules, right? And uh, I think I mentioned this before, but like in let me let me stop and start. 